What is going on everyone and we're back for the Ricky Tura podcast episode uh, 41 and yeah the camera on for YouTube is a little bit different like um, I've got it a little bit closer this time I'm just I'm just experimenting plus like I know I said like a few episodes back that I haven't sorted my gorilla pod out um, well I'm here to say I haven't still sorted that out, so it's been pretty um, difficult to manage it because the legs are all like so easy to move now, so when you stand it up, it will just slowly go back down, so I'm like balancing it at the moment, so I'm hopefully I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that sorted out, but anyway, how are you all doing? Are you all keeping well? Um, we're, we're basically halfway through January already which is crazy because it felt like New Year was yesterday and 2020 was like five minutes ago. And this whole pandemic's been going on for forever. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm kind of liking this setup now. I'm, I'm getting used to it with the lighting and the microphone and you guys as well. I've hit autofocus on my camera today. I don't normally use autofocus, but... You know what, I'm just trying new things basically um, and I've kind of been behind on getting notes for the podcast so I apologise in that sense because again I do not know what I'm going to talk about but we're going to talk about stuff because that's just the beauty of the podcast. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to dabble into a few things. I actually... I'm I'm very lucky that, and I've told you guys this before, that I've got my notes section that I just write my notes on anyway, right in front of me, just in general, like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I might pick something off there and talk about it as well. So technically, I have come with stuff, but it's just been there from right from the start, really. I could have just read stuff from there. Uh, but anyway... Um, you know what, let's bring Weatherman Rick back. I feel like Weatherman Rick hasn't been back for a little bit. Uh, well, what time is it? It's currently 10 to 9 in the morning. Um, I've been just a little bit with busy with other things this morning in the shop and um, stuff like that. And plus the setup, I need to get the setup just correctly. So that takes about 10 minutes as well. But it's, we're on 10 to 9, so it's not dark outside. It's quite light, so that helps with the lighting in in my room as well. Uh, it's a bit of a dull day, it's raining, um, but who saw that snow, you know? Okay, first of all, let's talk about the snow, okay? Like, in the UK, like, it was last Thursday, so we're on Wednesday now, so we're talking about six days ago, it snowed, and when I mean it snowed, like, it snowed, like, it was it was deep, it wasn't like deep deep, like knee deep, it, I think it was like ankle, just over the ankles deep, but yeah, it was, it was crazy, and you know what, it was good and bad, it was good like we haven't seen snow like that for a while in this country, so it was like very refreshing to not see like sleet, like proper deep snow for us, um, and it was cool just seeing people like sledging and stuff like that, obviously I was working in the shop, uh, but when I had a chance to, to get out, uh, I just, you know, looked around and stuff like that and, uh, yeah, I just saw people just having fun in the snow and there was me shoveling the driveway to the shop to make people walk <laughs> easier, but, hey, you still got to do the work, man. You can't, you can't get out of putting the work in. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself in the snow for them people that are in the UK. I know that in some parts of the UK... Uh, I think it was it south that they didn't get it, the snow, so it was kind of like the north side, east, kind of, so, but anyway, yeah, that was uh, something different from last week as well, that was the day after I recorded the podcast as well, so yeah, um, you know what, we're going to talk about some stuff, okay, um, so I'm going to talk to you about, like, schedule that I've been working on. Uh, for content, so let's let's get into that first. I don't know how where this is gonna end up, but yeah. So I I I 
kind of like to share my information, like what I'm doing currently and, and stuff like that. And one thing that I'm trying to do is like kind of put con- my content into like some sort of schedule. And it's kind of like 50-50 at the moment, like because I thought like it might help. Uh, in a way, like, if I go on to, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, let's say it's Wednesday today and I look at my schedule, I know that I need to create content for um, this podcast episode right now. Um, but I haven't really been using it. Like, I've got it and I look at it, but I haven't really been using it because I find it very difficult to put stuff beforehand and then do it. Like, let's say I want to create, like, a meme for the podcast so that means I have to really focus on the whole podcast and watch all of this back and find a meme out of it or something funny. Whereas if I just do something on my schedule, just like make content out of um, podcast episode 41, then I'll just hover through from the start. And if I find something like two minutes in, I can use that and see what I can use it for. Can I make a quote out of it? Can I make uh, some sort of other content out of it? Can I make uh, a meme out of it? And I find that so much easier as well. So the schedule's kind of just like for the big stuff that I've got going on at the moment. So obviously I know for a Wednesday that I'm going to do a podcast. Obviously I know for a Monday I'm going to do the vlogs, even though I uploaded my latest vlog yesterday. I was a bit late on that, but I know my vlogs are going to come out Monday. And I know that my... um, podcast is going to come out on a on a Wednesday but anyway I've got something coming out hopefully Friday or Saturday and I'm not going to say anything further from that but just stay tuned and all will be revealed soon on a side note I haven't charged my camera battery again I'm very slack at the moment so my camera battery has just turned red But I'm going to just go with the flow and if it ends, it ends and I'm going to probably charge it and I'll come back tonight and I'll finish the podcast up because why not? But I want to try and get it done beforehand actually. But what I mean is I'll just film my outro. Um, I'll probably just film it on my phone or something like that and stick it on the YouTube channel. But... Yeah, so that that's kind of what I'm going through at the moment, the um the schedule really. And I'm trying to do stuff for my YouTube as well. Um I'm really trying to focus on that this year as well. Uh just upgrading the videos in a sense like I've kind of done the basic parts where I've just uploaded it and stuff. I'm kind of doing like the back end stuff like keywords and s you know all the seo stuff so i'm still trying to learn that and stuff like that because it's something i'm very interested in as well um so it should be interesting to see how far i get with this uh as well and yeah basically it's just about the process and i don't try and look at the end result as much anymore like i know what the end result for me personally is but i try and look at the steps more to it rather than the actual end goal because if I focus too much on the end goal you kind of forget the steps to do it and you sometimes don't even reach it so that was a a little topic about a schedule that I'm trying to stick to but it's kind of like 50 50 at the moment like um I know like probably like big YouTube people kind of had like a, a have like a schedule of stuff that they're going to upload and stuff that they're going to put over social media and stuff. I'm just taking it as it goes at the moment because it's easier for me and I'm only doing little bits of stuff. Um, but otherwise, um, yeah, that's basically what what I'm doing at this uh, moment of time. And yeah, I wanna I wanna talk about stuff magic wise as well i've been thinking and i'm not gonna lie to you i've been thinking you know what i need to do some more magic now i think it's time to to do some more magic because this content thing is something that i've really been wanting to do for a while and i've done it all last year and i'm still doing it and i still will do it but i feel like the magic has took kind of a backseat and i know i did say 
say that it wasn't a back, back seat, but I feel like it has, and I feel like deep down, it, I'm just waiting for events to pick back up, so I haven't really done anything about it, and it's kind of just like jabbed me in the face, not one of them vaccine jabs, like a, a boxing jab, but um, but yeah, and I'm thinking, you know what, I should put more magic content out now, and you know what, that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I've said it here now on the podcast, and I'm going to have to do it. I will be doing something for even a magic video or just something to put out there just to get the uh, juices flowing again and we'll see where we go from there because at the end of the day I am a magician but I kind of like like trying new things as well so that's why I've done the podcast and the vlogs why I've got this new thing coming out later this week um and yeah the magic is still here like you've been seeing me do like cardistry stuff like that but you haven't seen me do magic for a while now and until events do start again I can't do anything about it I can't control it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to film something and I'm going to upload it but it's going to have to be different because for my magic videos I always feel like I want to try perfect it um so i'm kind of going to take it in a in a different in a different approach this time uh, and see how it goes uh how everything really ends up as well so yeah that's going to be quite interesting really uh to see where that goes but in the meantime we'll see we'll see what happens We'll, we'll see what happens like ma- magic is my passion and it's it's something that I'm doing forever and whether that be digitally now because I did say like I'll, r- I'll run the clip back of me saying that if events didn't happen soon I'm gonna have to switch to zoom magic if that's the case then that's the case like once I once I saw that area out like holler at me if you want to book me for <laughs> for the zoom gig but um uh, but yeah what else have i got on on my note section quickly uh as well i've got i've actually got zoom magic here um i've been getting some magic ideas down again and stuff like that um yeah do you know like certain magic like you've got to do certain magic as well that not only you like but but your audience like as well so for me it's kind of like card magic and I've been trying to get into coin magic and like cash magic and I've never really tried sponge balls or rope and that's something that I want to try and do as well just because it's just like the content how I'm trying different things and it's the same in magic like I need to try all the different things to see what I like because maybe I might like rope magic or sponge ball magic as well but I feel like you, you, the magic that you pick out that you want to do, yes, if you like it, fair enough. But your audience may not like it as much. So you've got to test and improve and change um, some things as well. Because you'll get things that get a certain reaction to one effect uh, rather than an effect that, let's say you get an effect that you don't like as much but it gets a great reaction and uh, an effect that you love but it doesn't get a great reaction like in in your gigs and stuff like you kind of want the one that will make your audience um react the most as well that they'll like it because you're entertaining them and they're gaining something out of it as well so it's something that i'm still learning at this time in magic uh, and i will probably have to test this in a different way than the one-to-one close-up magic at this moment of time but I feel like um, personally for me like I can't talk about trying I can only talk about coin magic and cash magic like cash magic I love it like I do perform like a little bit of it mainly it's card magic for me Uh, and it's definitely something that I've been saying for years that I'm going to try get into and I've just put it off because I've been so into card magic and I feel like you know, I'm going to try and do different things, just like I've done with the content, but I'm going to do it in magic as well. 
but the the more effects that you test improve and change for your audience that they'll like it more like the better you get as a performer and the better you'll improve for example i used to do a, a few uh, card magic effects uh, that i don't even do anymore not because it didn't get the reactions it did it's because i found much stronger effects that interact with the audience more and they get involved more so instead of just doing something selfish to me and saying you know this is one of my favorite effects they're like oh is it and you perform it and they're like hmm that was cool but rather than doing that and doing something else like yeah i've got the pack of cards here i need you to mix it and watch on three i'm gonna throw this to the ceiling boom and their cards on the ceiling you might not like that like throwing your cards but when that spectator sees something on the ceiling that's pretty sick so yeah it's um it's it's stuff like that that's just an example that's all um uh but yeah i was trying to think like i used to do something um where the cards kind of turned into perspex plastic or something like that and it wasn't my favorite because i was kind of scared to perform new effects but once i did it and i got the reactions out of it i was like you know what let's do this and sometimes it's not even about the reaction it's about the actual interaction uh how it's about the experience as well that you're giving the uh the spectator so so yeah that that's it's all connected into one another as well and i'm still learning this so that's why i'm being quite brief on it uh as well but that's just something that i've got in my mind uh from some things like that as well um, but I don't really want the battery to run out, so I'm going to cut this one short today. But before I go, uh, I just want to say that I switched up my content last night and I posted like a, a a vlog footage video on my Instagram, which I don't normally do. And yeah, it was quite funny. So if you haven't checked that out, check out my Instagram, at Ricky Tura. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll say something about my beard and stuff like that. And I was that close to not uploading it and that's why you need to try new stuff out because you might be scared to put it out but other people might like it and that's still what I'm trying to learn as well but guys I really do hope uh, you enjoyed this episode I'm sorry that I cut it short um, I'm still trying to improve this podcast and stuff and it's my fault that the batteries run out again I've done this twice now um, and but I hope you gain value out of some of the topics that I talked about today and um, I will definitely see you uh, next Wednesday again I'm going to try upload everything today and I mean everything I'm trying to work as hard as ever to do the audio and YouTube at the same time and put out the micro content so you this won't just be a standalone thing you'll see this everywhere on social media if you follow me so thank you guys again my name is Ricky Tura have a great day or night, wherever you are.